Hey guys, just one here. Back again with a Rush Bay video. I'm trying to build a little setup for more YouTube videos at the moment, so there's definitely some different content coming soon. Alright, I just want to give you a little walkthrough on my new brush pack and share some tips on how you can use it. It's completely focused on textures and an all in all rough look. The pack includes 29 brushes sorted in 7 categories. First of all we have the fiber brushes. These are inspired by fiber brush pens and have this characteristic texture like a pendle brush pen or something. That's actually something I always wanted to achieve in Procreate. I made a couple options for them and the fiber broad wet mix brush is uh, quite fun to use. And I got a bit into the watercolor settings for this one and I'm going to talk more about this in a sec. Next up we have the rooting brushes. Coming up with these was more of a happy accident, uh, not planned at all. These are inspired by the classic rooting pen. And the first one has a texture on it and sometimes you have to remake the stroke a couple of times to get the effect you want. But I thought this was just like using a real rooting pen where the result is pretty different each time. I also made a couple of options for these rooting brushes. And the next category is called round, featuring round tips. First up we have the round tip with a rough texture and one with a red mix to take care of these watercolor settings I just talked about. Last but not least the round acrylic one which gives you some nice brush like textures. Coming up next we have the scratch brushes. Um, the first one is called parallel scratch. This one is, is inspired by the textures you get when you use a parallel pen and scratch the tip of the, on the paper. Something which is quite fun to use on the repen, so I thought it would be cool to remake it in Procreate. The second one is uh, called Liquid Scratch. Not really a scratch-like brush, but I had to fit it somewhere in this bag. Um, this kind of evolved after experimenting with some liquid-like brushes and has this nice rough texture and shape to it. Alright, moving on, we have the section called Brush. Featuring three brushes, giving you some real neat brush textures. Next up we have the broad brushes. Um, quite similar to the previous ones, um, but they give you a slight similar shape and texture to work with. And last but not least, I added a couple of extra brushes to spice up your work. Uh, starting with the classic Schlummer pencil for some nice details and going over some splatter brushes to add some more of this rough feeling to your work and ending into ink drop brushes which are nice to add some more details. So that's it with a quick walkthrough on this brush bag um, and now moving on to give you some tips on these brushes. First of all to get better results on these brushes I would recommend adjusting your pressure curve <laughs> once again. They seem to work better with more pressure. My second tip is, since some of the brushes are watercolor brushes, you can use this feature to give your work quite a unique look. All you have to do is to write the word in one color, pick a different color and go over the word again. And since the color is mixing with the previous one, if you lower the pressure, you can get some pretty nice color shades and new textures of it. Same goes with these gradients I added to my work I recently posted on Instagram. I just picked the fiber broad wet mix and went over the previous lettering, lowering the pressure with each stroke. There's definitely more to it, just getting started on this myself and just want to give you an idea what is possible with these brushes. Alright, my last tip is about uh, the splatter brushes. You know about this smudge feature in Prograde? To be honest, I completely forgot about it and I never used it. Um, if you tap on it and select these better brushes, you can get a pretty sick effect. And going over a letter like this will take a bit of the color and take it with it, leaving you with some interesting new textures in the letter itself and this watercolor kind of look. And if you now do the same over an area where two colors are meeting, you can get a Two colored splatters 
with one stroke. All right, that's it with the walkthrough and with the tips on this brush pack. I hope you enjoyed it and could get a little bit of an insight on this pack. You can check out the link in the description to get on my shop. I would love to hear what you think about it and have a good one.